Hey everyone, it is me Miranda and I am back today to show you some of the books that I have in my collection um, for tips and tricks and maybe inspiration for coloring. So I was re <laughs> recently re-watching um, Color and Chat with Sammy and I just really appreciate the way that she showed and implemented different techniques into her coloring and that made me think of all these nice books that I have in my coloring or in my book collection um, that I'm not really using so I figured I would pull some out and start using them and I thought I would share them with you guys as well um, I'm just gonna pull my book stack over here and we'll get started looking at these. So the first book that I have is called 100 Textures in Oil and Acrylic. This is by Mia Tabanati. I think that's how you say her name. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. This is by Foss Walter Foster Publishing and here is the ISBN if you are looking for it. Um, I got this book um, on bookoutlet.com and so this this isn't obviously it is for oil and acrylic so it's not really meant for coloring um, but I pulled it as a reference because it gives such good detail onto what they're actually doing to get the effect now in coloring unless you're using maybe a gel pen or an acrylic paint pen you can't really add these highlights um, last you have to really keep your highlights highlighty and then go into the darks with acrylic and oil they kind of work back backwards but it is still nice to see where they're putting their colors, how they're layering to get this texture or this effect. Um, especially if you are trying to maybe add a background with, you know, paints, then it would be really, really useful. But if you're just coloring, it's, I think it's still really useful just to show you where the colors are actually going to get that texture. And sometimes texture is really hard, at least for me, but I just really appreciate this book for that. And I thought I'd pull it out and start maybe using it more or at least looking through it and getting some inspiration on things that I can do for my coloring. Um, so yeah, that is that book. I also like how they're giving you a really like detailed like very close image of the texture you could always you know google something or pinterest an image to find the texture of something but um sometimes i find working from other art prints or other art pages is a little bit easier than working from a real life because i don't know like real life images tend to just be a little bit harder to make out whereas here they're giving you very step by step you can really see the different areas of this wool whereas if you were actually looking at a, a sweater you might not be able to tell where all these colors were so that's why I pulled this one now <clears throat> the rest of the books are more coloring related so this is, um, you can draw simple techniques for realistic drawing by Leonardo Perezanito. Perez um, in this book, you are learning to draw gemstones, metals, hard surfaces, crystals, glass, water, and flowers. And then here's the ISBN. And this is by Six and Spring Books Publishing. 
so again this one is a little bit more related to coloring because they're showing you the actual not only the actual process to drawing the image but then where you're laying down your colors and as opposed to that other book being the oils and acrylics this is actually using uh, pencils so I thought this book is also very good for if you're adding elements into your book and you want to know like how maybe you want to add wood flooring it's going to show you exactly how to start with your wood flooring how to draw that into your picture but then also it's showing you how to get that texture when you're laying down your colors and it's giving you very detailed notes on how to do that so i really appreciate this book i think it's showing you a lot of good techniques i'm absolutely in love with this crystal apple that they did and i i honestly think this would be perfect if you did like a snow white page but i'm absolutely um like every time I pick up this book, I just continue to look at the different techniques and different ways that they're laying down color. And I just really appreciate it so much. Um, especially this like water, the underwater, like, I don't even know what you call this. They're calling it an underwater dolphin, but just that texture of the water when you're under it, under the water. I think is really hard like that would be really hard for me to do but they're giving you really easy instructions on how to do that so it might not be easy to do it to follow the instructions but they make it look easy so I pulled this book and again these are for references to get ideas to try new things um, and then these last two books are definitely coloring related. These are colorist special effects. This is number two and number three. And these are by Helen Elliston. So this is number two. And here's the ISBN if you're looking for it. <clears throat> As you can see from the background, she gives you instructions on how to do this cauldron, which I think is perfect for the upcoming Summerween event if you know what's going on if you don't Summerween is an event where we're coloring Halloween pictures this summer it starts the last Friday in July and it's going until the first Friday in August and it's hosted by Reading with Pugs um, Jen she's hosting it and she's also going to be giving I think she's giving a list out or like challenges that you can try to complete during that but um yeah so I saw the cauldron and I knew that this was perfect but then these books in general just show you step by steps on how to get these textures how to lay down colors to get you know a really metal look um she gives you a lot of not only the colors to lay down but then how to apply the pencil in you know the technique in which to lay down your color to really get that texture to really get that look um so i really appreciate this both of these books but this one she let's see she gives you an index of everything that she does for this book so as you can see it's a lot but in this one it's primarily tasty treats nature uh 3d shapes and object metal and steampunk and skin tone so that's in this book and then in the color special effects number three let's see she's giving you um empty shapes more flower fun Glorious Nature, Miscellaneous Fun, and Background and Structure. So again, just the colors that she's using. She uses Prismacolors um, in her books and references them, but you can use whatever if you can find the color that's close enough, or you can substitute these colors out for your own colors to get, you know, a different look. But... 
I really, really like these books. I've been really inspired by these books. I really want to use some of these techniques. Here's the ISBN for this one. And they, I think these are just so cool if you're adding in your own background or, you know, besides just coloring the images, if you're adding in your own background, maybe you want to add some cactus or maybe you add want to add a brick wall. So <clears throat> these are all the books that I have for now that I'm pulling to find inspiration. Again, you guys can really find inspiration wherever, but these are the ones that are showing you tips and tricks on it. I'd love to hear if you guys have a book that you use for your tips and tricks. And um, I'm definitely going to try some of these in some of my books. So if there's something that you'd really like to see, maybe we can work through it together. Maybe do like a color and chat slash color and technique or color and texture chat. So just try different things. Um, let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. But until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.